Hello and a very good morning everyone. It's such a beautiful day, isn't it? My name is Timothy and in this explainer video, we are going to explore and discover Magazine Road in Georgetown, Penang. But before I go any further, let me first give you our starting point coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be navigated to the point where I started this walk and you can use this video as your virtual tour guide. Now back to our walk, Magazine Road can be considered the first road outside Georgetown. That might sound strange, but for much of the 19th century, Georgetown extended no further than the Pranging Canal, which we covered in our previous video. When population growth necessitated extending Georgetown beyond the Pranging Canal, a series of parallel roads were laid to the south of the canal. Because there were initially seven roads or streets, the area came to be known as Seven Streets Precinct or Chit Tiao Law in Penang Hokkien. Of the seven streets, the first among them is this one, Magazine Road. As such, Magazine Road is known in Penang Hokkien as Tao Tiao Law, meaning the first road or first street or first avenue. That name is translated back into English and appropriated for the shopping mall in front of us, which is named First Avenue Mall. The area we are walking through has transformed, urbanized and gentrified over the past couple of decades. Just a few decades ago, Magazine Road was much narrower. Today, it has become a four-lane avenue. Old roads have disappeared from this area. Glaston Road, Maxwell Road and the original Hong Kong Street have been erased from the map while Texan Street truncated. On the other hand, Carnarvon Street has been extended and now forms a T-junction with Magazine Road in front of us. Across this junction is Hui An Association, a Hokkien association founded in 1914. Most of its members were from the bottom rung of society the tri shop peddlers, women construction workers, mechanics and the likes. A few managed to claw their way to the top, becoming some of the richest and most influential people in the land, the most famous of whom being the late Tan Sri Norbun Seal. Now we continue along the sidewalk of First Avenue Mall. Old and new architecture coexist across from each other on this stretch of magazine road. To our left is the junction of McNair Street. This is the middle street in the 7th Street's precinct. I often think of it as the central spine of a fish bone. In front of us is a hotel, the Wembley St. Giles. It takes its name after the Wembley Theatre which used to occupy the site. Many of the old buildings in this area might make way for the redevelopment. Some have already been demolished, leaving vacant plots that serve as temporary car parks. During times of economic uncertainties, landowners and developers play the wait and see game before they proceed with any development projects. To our right is the junction of Lebolintang or Cross Street. It is one of the streets created when the area underwent urban redevelopment. I am now going to walk across the junction of Lebolintang, so I better make sure the road is clear. Let's walk quickly, and we have crossed. To our right is Hotel Chen Penang. 
It was originally called Shangri-La, then it became Traders Hotel, but despite the name changes, it is still part of the Shangri-La group. Over here, we have two major hotels facing each other on either side of Magazine Road. If you compare them to the pre-war shop houses in the distance, you can get an idea how tall buildings are nowadays. Here's a look at the Wembley, a St. John's Hotel Penang. The black building next to it is M Summit, another hotel or service residence. In front of us is the podium block of Complex Tun Abdul Raza or Komta. This four-story podium was built under Phase 1C of the Komta project. The Paling ceremony was held on 1st January 1974 and officiated by the project namesake, the late Tun Abdul Razak Hussein, who was the then Prime Minister. Let's cross Jalan Ria, a road that was created together with Komta and goes right through the building. The Komta podium reflects elements of the brutalist architecture style that was fashionable in the 70s and 80s. It was designed by a team of architects led by Lim Chong Kiat, the brother to then Chief Minister of Penang, the late Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu. By the mid-1980s, when Hotel Jen Penang was built, the architecture of choice has moved away to a more international style. And now we are approaching the end of Magazine Road, which also means the conclusion of this explainer video. It ends at a meeting point of five roads, namely Magazine Road, Brickland Road, Datokramat Road, McAllister Road, and Penang Road. This spot is called Magazine Circus because there was once a traffic roundabout here with the aforementioned roads plus the now expunged Glaston Road. So that's the wrap for this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to bringing you another place explainer video soon. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.